It is not so often that Apple would publicly announce their failure. Failure in one of their projects. It's been a week ago since they released new lineup of MacBook Pro and they killed the one with touch bar. But why Apple removed this feature which they introduced six years ago? October 2016 was the first time the touch bar was announced and made its way into the line of MacBook back then. And in theory, it seemed great. The touch bar is a simple idea. Apple decided to replace the outdated function keys found on top of the keyboard with a small dynamic screen changing according to your needs and according to the application running at the time. But half a decade later, it failed and was removed. Let's start off with Apple reasons why they removed it and then I'll tell you the real reasons. Apple was not really saying much about it. Probably because it was really their fault why it didn't succeed. They only said, users value the full height function row on the standalone Magic Keyboard and we brought it to the MacBook Pro. The physical keys replaced the touch bar, bringing back the familiar tactic feel of the mechanical keys that the users love. Now of course function keys has been here for years and users love it. But it's not the main reason why Apple would remove it. According to me, the main reason is that they were not fully committed to it. Since they released it, they didn't really put any effort in any improvements. They didn't even stretch it in the lineup of other computers. It was always exclusive to MacBook Pro. And as much as it looks great on the paper, without the proper updates and integration into the apps, it was useless. And that is connected to the other point. If Apple is not so invested in it, the other developers were not eager into developing their apps for Touch Bar either. So the excitement was slowly fading away. And that's just the background stuff. Now we can look at the facts and how it really functioned. Users always look for something which can increase their speed, their productivity, their daily workflow. And this was really not that. Even such a simple tasks like increasing volume or brightness was actually slower than faster on touch bar. Plus there is no feel about it like you can slide on the keyboard and I'm not even talking about the missing escape key. And as much as it didn't increase the workflow speed, it has definitely increased the price. And that itself is a good reason for Apple to get rid of it. And another problem I noticed myself is that it's actually eating a lot of battery power. And it's not only that, I noticed that the Mac was overheating around that area of the touch bar, even creating some sort of pixelation on the screen. So it was really not doing well to the battery. And even though I have quite a lot of cycles still left, the battery is totally dead and I can't even use the Mac without being connected to the power. Even my old MacBook Air from 2012 has a better battery than this newer one with touch bar. So what is my conclusion about it? I think that was a great move from Apple. But personally, I don't have any problem with the touch bar. I actually like it, I think it's a very cool thing. But cool doesn't mean great. At least this decision showed that Apple is not so stubborn about everything and can sometimes listen to the users. So our ideas and thoughts matter. For me, it matters a lot that you are here with me and watching this video. I want to bring you all of this up-to-date information, innovations and new features on the software. So I encourage you to click on the subscribe button because I'm also planning some innovations on this channel. So see you on the next video.